have you ever heard of that old wives tale that says if you're having trouble getting pregnant get a puppy well i heard it and it worked for me This is my third installment of our puppy videos in our Getting to Know Us series, and today's video is all about Macy. Yeah, Macy, making her look awkward, but she is the least awkward puppy you would ever imagine. Macy is almost 10 years old. She is a three and a half pound Chihuahua. She's fawn colored. She's got little white boots and a nice little stripe down her forehead. She's actually one of my favorite colors of Chihuahuas. I'm just a plain Jane kind of girl and I like plain, ordinary, common colors in dogs. And She's one of my favorite dogs. So some of you guys don't know that Macy was my dog first. I, um, going back nine years ago, I was trying to have a baby. I had been trying for several months and, um, and it wasn't working and Gabby was, Gabby was a year and a half old and I definitely wanted something to love and pamper and take care of in my life. Gabby was a really easy baby. She was the easiest baby of all of my babies. Um, she slept like a dream. She, if I said, Gabby, you need to do this, she did it. She was the easiest baby. And I just wanted another something in my life. And so um, right around Christmas time, I said to Sam, my husband, I think I want a puppy. And he said, no, no, no puppies. And I said, but I really, really want a puppy. And he said, no, absolutely 100% no puppies. So of course I did what any um, woman would do. I took to the internet to find myself a puppy. I, I knew I wanted a puppy. Um, we had been rescuing dogs and puppies for a really long time, but I really wanted something that was tiny and small and a baby that I could train. And I just really felt like I wanted a puppy at the time. So I searched up breeders in our area. I searched up breeders out of our area. I just wanted to find a puppy that I connected with. And I looked at a lot of pictures and a lot of breeders. And then all of a sudden, Macy's picture popped up. And um, I don't know why, but I loved her. So I, of course, talked to my husband about it again now. <laughs> I emailed the lady right away as soon as I saw Macy's picture and I asked for more information and I got all the information I needed and then I took it to Sam. And so I started out really slow saying, well, I found this puppy and I, I, I really like her and I think Gabby would really like to have a puppy and he said, fine, do what you want, like he usually says. So he ended up letting me buy her and she was my Christmas present that year. I think we got her a week before Christmas. A week before Christmas I think yeah and she was really tiny she was 12 weeks old and she was under a pound and I of course was really nervous because I had a one and a half year old and a tiny tiny puppy so um, I would sit with Gabby and I would let her hold Macy together I tried my hardest to keep them apart I was so nervous that Macy would get hurt under Gabby's care and the more I tried to keep them apart, the more they were getting together. They were they were best friends. I would, I would separate them and Macy would go to Gabby. And Macy and Gabby literally grew up together. Gabby is a year and a half older than Macy. Everything Gabby did as a little girl, Macy did. If Gabby went swimming, Macy went swimming. If Gabby went to bed, Macy went to bed. I have so many pictures of Gabby and Macy sleeping together over the years because they are just so connected. Macy was not your typical dog. I swear there is a person inside Macy trying to get out because Macy, or at least she's not a little dog, she has always been super energetic and super up to whatever Gabby has wanted to do. When they were little, um, Gabby would run around and run around and run around and Macy would chase her and try and bite her hands and it was a game that they played. They made it up on their own and in the end Gabby would lay down on the floor on top of her hands and Macy would run all around her nipping at her sides trying to get her hands and it was the cutest game ever. I remember um, Macy had her very first bath 
with Gabby. I was making supper and I noticed that Gabby and Macy had gone missing. So I went to look for them. And when I saw the bathroom door closed, I went running and I opened the door as fast as I could. And there was Gabby holding Macy like this with her in the toilet, swirling her around. And as the water was rushing, she had flushed the toilet. The water was swirling around. She was swirling Macy around in the toilet. Macy was so tiny. It was, I was so worried that Macy was going to go down the toilet. So I grabbed her out. That was her very first bath, huh, Macy? Do you remember that? I got Macy in December. I got pregnant with Sophia in January. Some people think that it is an old wives' tale, but for me, that old wives' tale really worked. I don't know what it is, if you become more nurturing when you have a puppy, or what happens to your body, but when you're taking care of a tiny little puppy, like I was taking care of Macy, um, something happens and I got pregnant. I got pregnant with Sophia, and that's when the real trouble began, especially for Sam, because once Sophia was here and she saw Macy and Gabby and the relationship they had, she needed a puppy of her own. And you, if you've been following our dog series, then you probably already know Cookie Doe's story and how Sophie got Cookie. But in reality, it started with Macy because Macy helped me get pregnant and that created Sophie and Sophie needed her own dog and that's how we got Cookie. to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.